This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, uh, once again, very good morning and thanks for joining. Okay. So as last session, we discussed about what is point in time restore and what is uh, uh, piecemeal restoration, how to take the uh, file level backups, file group level backups and uh, partial backups. And whenever you, you want to restore, you can restore with the partial backup, uh, partial full backup, partial differential backup. Later on, you can restore with the file group level backups. So that's what yesterday we discussed about the restoration. There are two concepts are pending. One is with the restore scenarios. One is with the restore history. Uh, means uh, where you can see who performed the restore, when they perform the restore, that information, sir. So, okay. So we'll discuss it uh, uh, after uh, completion of the block shipping uh, introduction. Okay, so we'll, we'll discuss that one and we'll wind up the session today. So first we are going to start today. We are going to start with the what is high availability? What is disaster recovery? <coughs> what is RTO RPO and we, we are going to discuss about the first uh, HA and DR that is nothing but lock shipping lock shipping and what are the prerequisites how to configure how to troubleshoot everything we are going to discuss in a today and tomorrow session so before we go and start any questions till now sir almost we complete about uh, base concepts nothing okay. from my end oh. okay yeah thanks others uh, no, sir, we are fine. Okay, yeah, sir. Yeah, uh, okay, thanks, everyone. So, very interesting, sir, from today onwards, you are going to start with the concept wise. Okay, so one day we are going to discuss complete about uh, uh, theoretical. One day we are going to discuss about the configuration so that you will be so confident. So, first, theoretical is very important. So what is the flow? Uh, how it is working? What are the prerequisites? So it's it's a very simple logics. Okay, it is not a more complex like replication to configure log shipping. It will just take only uh, five minutes, sir. It won't take more than five to five to ten minutes. Five minutes is too good, sir. To configure, okay. To configure mirroring, it will take uh, just two minutes. Even for always and also it will take only five to ten minutes sir. Means it won't take that much time to configure any high availability and disaster recovery But to understand the concept What is log shipping? What is mirroring? What is always on? What is clusters? Okay What is cluster? How how they are going to work? Okay, so how many ways we can configure and uh, So in case something goes wrong how to troubleshoot that's what Everyone must and should know configuration is very easy, sir. Once you configure everything, okay, there there keep on working. In case if something goes wrong, only a DBA people will come and start the troubleshooting. And you are only configuring log shipping, mirroring, or anything, sir. But troubleshooting is very important for every high availability and disaster recovery. Okay, HA stands for HA stands for high availability. DR stands for disaster recovery, sir. For your simple understanding, HA stands for high availability, DR stands for disaster recovery. DR, disaster recovery, sir. What is high availability? Very simple, sir. Uh, don't make more complex, okay? That, that's the reason I just made in a simple term. See, HA means creating a copy of database, instance, servers that can immediately take over in case of problem with the main database instance server with little or no downtime and no loss of data hope you are getting sir so ha means creating a copy sir creating a copy of database you can keep a copy of database keep a copy of instance keep a copy of server that can take immediately take over immediately in case a problem with the main main database main instance <coughs> main server with little downtime 
or no downtime with no data loss with no data loss this is you want to understand no data loss okay that is the main uh, uh, concept of ha and one more sir before we we uh, we understand this one sir uh, technically you should call it as a data centers we whenever we are discussing starting i already display you right our data are completely storing in the data centers agree everyone yes sir yes so data center yes. so every most of the time 90% all the projects not 90 sir 100% all the projects they will maintain two data centers sir two copies one will be primary data center within uh, your region so for example uh, my client in uh, so <coughs> ap my client is in ap sir okay so i will place my data center nearest to the ap sir one more copy i will place in the some other state either you can take uh, bangalore or you can take chennai or you can take mumbai or you can take pune because i am not guarantee something may happen to ap no problem sir i can recover with help of uh, uh, data center which i placed in bangalore or chennai or mumbai or pune you know about the chennai floods you know about the kerala floods agree sir yes we are not guarantee what nature can do if something happens suddenly so if you are keeping only one copy in one data center if that data center is down gone right entire your project will gone right yes or no yes 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 so that's the main reason sir so the primary data center is nothing but nearest to you sir what is the primary data center nearest to you what is dr server that is that will be little bit far sir so for example uh, your your primary data center is host, uh, hosted on uh, houston and your secondary is hosted on dallas okay your primary data center is hosted on california your secondary data center is hosted on uh, virginia north virginia so one the, the data center which is nearest to you that technically we'll call it as a, a primary data center the data center little bit far okay that you can call it as a dr servers in case if something goes wrong here no worries i'm having one more copy in the dr data center so both are data centers only we are making a name call one is primary one is dr agree not agree sir all right people yeah we can call it secondary you can also call it as a secondary sir but forget about secondary call it as a dr yeah okay okay so technically that will be good sir <laughs> don't call it as a secondary technically you can call it as a dr because sir you were here you already maintaining for one so for example this is my database name sir ec2 ec2 you are maintaining two copies here to maintain the high availability sir to maintain the high availability you are maintaining one copy already in the primary data center sir if something happened to this i can recover very fastly because your both copies are in the same data center sir the data flow will be uh, flow will be uh, very faster your access will be very faster okay data transfer will be very faster because two copies you are maintaining in the same data center if 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 something happen to this okay i can bring this one immediately so that is the main tech main purpose of high availability always your services your database your server your instance need to be run for 24 by 7 365 days so if something happen to this i can recover this one very quickly because this is available in the same data center without data loss maximum without data loss sir they can recover they not we can recover so <clears throat> in case if something happen to entire data center sir 
I already maintaining high availability sir Sir within data center you can maintain high availability high availability if something happened to this I can recover this one very quickly Because both are available in the same data center so assume sir if <coughs> enter data data center is down Enter your data center is down sir. So what will happen in case see, that's that is the reason they came up with the concept called disaster recovery DR is the process in, uh, intended to take in an event of disaster at the data center level If your entire data center is down So no worries. I'm having one more copy In the DR site primary site DR site for any for for any reason if a data center fails to operate due to any reason like natural or human made then immediately switch your business happen to the other planet data center so in case if something goes wrong no worries sir i can bring this database i can bring this instance i can bring this server to online so this is online only but no one can access it because they everyone can access only primary so if, if entire goes down I can bring <coughs> this this to online so that user can access and they can perform their business transactions Yes, no DR means disaster at the data center level HA means Something goes wrong with the DB level or instance level or something uh, server level no worries I can bring a copy of database or instance or server within the same data center That is nothing but high availability Within the same data center you are bringing your database you are bringing your instance you are bringing your your server to online so that users can access high availability within the same data center DR within two different data centers You can make three copies as well. sir. no problem Okay, Bo both are in sync uh, primary and secondary database will be sync uh, forget, about, uh, all... forget about that one sir forget about that one I try to understand okay. the logic here Sync, okay. not sync. we are going to discuss in the future uh, uh, Means uh, what are the uh, uh, transaction is available in primary those will be uh, Available in secondary also I'm asking that. sync. This is sync. Okay. This is not sync. No sync a sync sir Async. Okay, mostly we'll configure okay. in a sync because this is different data center to improve okay. the performance We will discuss lot sir about sync and async. No worries Yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Questions no questions to, to do while while bringing uh, While bringing DR site to online we have any loss of data Definitely may or may not yeah. I can we cannot guarantee sir We cannot guarantee that may may not Okay, so good What is this URL? High availability and disaster recovery. Oh, yeah. Make this note, sir. A very interesting document. Okay. Yep. So, all we are going to discuss, sir. No, no need to go and start learning. So, whatever here. So, we are going to discuss all in the coming sessions, one by one, one by one. Okay, at one sh <coughs> one shot you can see everything in the pictures and uh, <coughs> some information. Okay, forget about this one. We are going to discuss everything in the live only. Now, yeah. Okay, someone asked about what is cold backups. So I mentioned three types of sir here: cold standby, warm standby, hot standby. Okay, cold standby, warm standby means 
sir uh, this is primary assume sir this is your main database where users are accessing and remaining or idle sir remaining or idle assume sir just think about idle okay so <coughs> idle means <coughs> no one can access nothing we can perform just it will be in the idle state if something happen here this will take the responsibility if something happened here it will take the responsibility if something happened this one uh, gone sir again enter your your application will be down your application will be down sir make a clear note okay so in in this mechanism in this mechanism <coughs> technical you can call it as a cold standby warm standby and hot standby what is cold standby means manual processor completely taking the backup and you are trying to restore it take every day backup and you, every day you can restore it that is cold standby sir manual process you should take the backup and you should copy it you should restore it getting my point sir cold standby means every time you need to take the backup and you need to take the restore it's very difficult sir, to take the backup to copy it to restore it you don't have any other work only for this database only you are working for entire eight hours online people no right no, every time no. sir users are keep on connecting they are keep on changing sir so every time users are changing you should suppose to take the backup and copy and restore it no, it's very difficult, sir. So we, we, we won't perform cold standby servers. Okay, means manual processor, completely manually taking the backup and restoring. Then they started thinking, okay, warm standby. What is warm standby means? Uh, uh, so you are not manually performing, sir. See, uh, warm standby means, okay, data copy ready to use. Data is continuously copying, sir whatever you are you are performing on the on the main server so that data is automatically copying to the secondaries means whatever the changes you perform in main server automatically it will copy to the all the all the secondaries all the secondaries automatically you are not doing anything sir you are not doing anything so data is copying to the secondaries automatically okay potentially data loss potentially then may uh, may or may not data loss so that what type of uh, you are conferring sir i cannot keep everything in a word here uh, we have we have different types of techniques here log shipping database mirroring clusters and always on we have only four techniques sir don't include replication replication is not a high availability replication is not a disaster recovery it is a just a feature in sql server we have only four techniques which will fulfill your high availability and disaster recovery okay what are the four techniques sir log shipping database mirroring mm -hmm. clustering windows failure clusters and the always on availability group okay <coughs> okay uh sir actually can can we say a uh, lock shipping uh only disaster recovery and not high available that we'll can... discuss sir. that we'll discuss okay oh, i i'm okay. not discussing anything here okay about particular thing i'm just briefing about what is high availability what is disaster recovery okay that's it sir no okay so warm standby means okay so it's a manual sir again or manual failover means if something happened to this one okay so you can't fail over automatically sir you should manually fail over warm standby means a simple understanding sir for your understanding manual failover means assume sir you configure log shipping you configure mirroring you configure always on you configure mirroring you configure uh, always on you configure log shipping okay if something happened over the midnight and it is not doing automatic failover sir means uh, basically log shipping doesn't supports automatic failover but mirroring supports automatic failover always on supports automatic failover cluster supports automatic failover sir 
these three are automatic failover means if something happened to this automatically this will taken care entire responsibility to run your application at any time but in mirroring in always on there is a concept called asynchronous mode when you configure in asynchronous mode okay it won't supports automatic failover even it won't supports manual failover as well you need to perform force failovers whenever you configure uh, your mirroring you are always on in asynchronous all this concept we'll discuss later sir no worries i don't want confuse you in the starting starting itself okay let's make one by standby means manual failover potentially maybe data loss sir potentially maybe data loss maybe maybe data loss okay data is copying sir automatically here <coughs> Here enter your data is manual process like backup and restore here. You are not conferring any backup resource sir. You are conferring uh, Lock shipping you are conferring mirroring in asynchronous mode again, sir here. You need to make a, a note call mirroring in asynchronous mode Async mode only Okay, async mode. even always on in async mode sir all when you configure okay uh, don't make this sorry 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 okay okay so when you configure uh, uh mirroring in in uh, asynchronous mode when you configure always on in asynchronous mode and basically transaction log backup are <coughs> warm by server warm standby servers means it won't supports automatic failover But data is copying sir your data is copying make a note maybe May not data loss sir. I am not Garrett. We are not get we are not I am not sir We are not guaranteed that definitely there may be data loss. I am not telling definitely may may or may not sir because That you can understand in the going forward. Okay, forget about that point but main intention is warm standby means it won't support automatic failover That is what main agenda sir. warm standby means it won't support automatic failover then what is hard standby means automatic failover sir if something goes wrong if something goes wrong on on, on this server on this server on this database automatically your database your instance your your uh, servers connections connection sir connections will move to this database automatically mirroring clusters always an availability group sir these are the three major hot standby servers means automatic failover sir if something goes wrong on primary secondary will take care automatically responsibility to run entire your application clear Hot standby means automatic failover warm standby means manual failover Okay, cold standby means manual processor taking the backup and performing the restore Hope someone asked this question. What is cold? Everyone understand sir Understood sir. Yeah. So let's let's remove these two points or I don't want Make more confusion to everyone sir good that's it, sir. Okay. So, so in this, you mean to say yes. cold standby and warm standby whenever we are performing, uh, in the sense that is manual intervention is required. Forget about cold standby, sir. We never go for cold standbys. No, no, Taking no, the I'm, backup I'm, and performing this. Warm standby, yeah. manual failure, sir. Yeah. I'm just repeating it. Okay. No cold standby means manual process required means yeah, man, backup restore, backup restore. Is required for a warm is... stand, cold stand. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. yeah So warm standby means manual failover hot standby means automatic failovers Got it so good Yes, no everyone sir Asubu uh, so... yes, so... 
yes sir subu so in case uh, if we set a synchronous uh, so it will be uh, uh, um so it will be go manual fill or it's only automatic flow that depends sir again that's what forget about sync and async that we are going to discuss in the database mirroring if you understand database mirroring you you are also good in always on sir okay. database mirroring is your your grandpa and always on is your latest android that's it okay okay thanks and also a little bit about uh, differences sir here see high availability services availability sir always your services need to run sir always the goal main goal of high availability is always your services need to be available for 365 days 24 by 7 always your services need to be running sir the main goal sir what is it for dr purpose means service continuity means in case any one of uh, so in case here the services ended down no worries i can maintain the service here so a little terminology different sir here services availability here you can call it as a service continuity if something happen here no worries i can continue the application i can continue the application because i am having in the dr as well different data center so everyone knows about right sir recently one two years ago three years ago there is a uh, kerala floods whenever there is a really kerala floods everyone travel to pune hyderabad bangalore to support the to support their clients <coughs> yes or no yes sir yes sir yeah yes. the people who are already working sir because they are having different data center in different regions sir some projects maintain in bangalore some project maintain in pune some project maintain in hyderabad so that they, they travel to that location they supported we are not guarantee sir what nature will do next minute what nature will do no one knows correct so that's yeah, the main yes. reason yeah we are going to maintain a different data center in different location next processor process most likely automation everything is automatic if something goes wrong another application another database another instance another server will take the responsibility most likely manual processor means it won't mostly uh, you may ask one question sir can i configure automatic for dr server yes sir you can configure yes you can configure automatic failover for dr server as well if your network is too good if your network is awesome you can aram say go and configure automatic failover for, for dr server as well okay i am not telling that you should configure only asynchronous mode no sir i never told that that kind of terminology so you can configure in synchronous mode as well but we are not guarantee how what is the speed of the network okay so that's the reason mostly i'm telling mostly manual processor very say mostly manual process mostly automatic process okay infrastructure level means your your uh, data centers level infrastructure level single location here two plus locations means one will uh, so for example here your primary will be in chennai pune bangalore anywhere sir one data center where you are keeping all your applications but when you go for dr already i am having one data center you wanted to keep one more copy you wanted to keep one more copy keep it sir no problem i am not telling that you should copy, keep only two data centers one will be primary one will be dr so you can keep n number of data centers if you have more money if you have more money you can keep n number of data centers sir i am not worrying because that is your application your money your budget whatever you sir we are just a providers who is connecting and and maintaining the services that's it okay infrastructure level single location multiple locations okay main intention is re uh, retaining the services here retaining the data if something happened to entire your data center 
no worries sir i can have the data in the dr site as well even sir whenever we are working in my project uh, what they used to do right they used to copy a couple of uh, applications data to the different network sir to the entire different network different network means if my primary data center down if my dr side also down entire my network is down no problem i am having the data in different network different location so that's also they are going to maintain sir when you go to the project in my project that is how we i am going to perform basically we are using a permafrost they are technically calling as a permafrost uh, backups but that is normally backup on our backup and restore method only but we used to technically call it as a permafrost okay i i was the primary manager for that activity sir a monthly once i i, I used to take the backup and copy to the different network not not within our range sir a different network because if entire my primary data center corrupted dr data center got corrupted no worries i can recover my database with the help of this permafrost backups so that that level also they can maintain sir okay i am not guaranteed these are the only terminologies in real world we are going to use they will use different different terminologies different different comp but underlying logic will be same sir okay not okay sir Okay. 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 Sir. Now, sir. Basically, okay, sir. Uh, uh, last couple of sessions we discussed about the backups. Okay, full backup, differential backup, and uh, log backup we discussed. Mainly th these three, sir. Forget about remaining. Okay. Now you are telling the high availability, sir. Why Microsoft keep bringing all these concepts? Why? So there is a concept called RTO RPO. There is a concept called RTO RPO. Sir, uh, everyone knows about the belt shop, right? Yes or no? Most of the gents know, sir. Even ladies also nowadays they are, they also they, they they may also know. Okay, so they make the tenders, right? So whenever uh, every year or every quarter they will make the tenders. So whoever won the tenders, they can keep wherever they want. Agree, not agree. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. like like same, sir. How these IT people are, uh, IT companies are getting the projects. So every project that when they they want to give it to others out of their country or, or within the country. So first they will make the tenders, sir. Okay, they will announce. Okay, we are going to give the, my project outside. So like IBM, Infosys, TCS. Okay, so Capgemini, Cognizant. They will start making the tenders, and they will keep all the tenders in front of the client. Who quote very less? So they definitely they won the project, sir. Agree, not agree. So once they won the project, they will make some agreements. Yes or no? Within the agreement, there is one of the important logic. One is RTO, one is RPO. Recovery time objective, recovery point objective. RTO stands for recovery time objective. RPO stands for recovery point objective. Recovery point objective. Recovery time objective means if something happened to this data <coughs> if something happened to this database this instance this server this service how soon you can bring my database how soon you can bring my server how soon you can bring my services to online will be decided by rto getting my uh, getting my point sir how soon you can bring sir if something happened to this database something happened so for example uh, 
uh, this is the database having around 6.5 db sir assume sir this database got corrupted how much time you will you will take to recover this database sir come on sir uh, maximum uh, two 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 days i mean if you have if we if we have the backup sir if we have the backup sir two to three days maximum don't tell two to three days sir why you will take two to three days for 6.5 db five to six hours okay okay four to five hours or five to six hours or two to five four hours two to three hours based on your network speed based on your network speed you can recover within four to five hours sir assume sir okay can client will wait for four to five hours sir as no. a example example that that database is belong to icc bank that database is belong to city bank that database is belong to uh, hsbc bank will they wait for five to six hours if, no. if bank goes down okay. then 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 i can guarantee no problem sir i can maintain this copy in somewhere in case if this goes down no worries i can bring here within fraction of seconds or within fraction of minutes i can bring with minimal downtime you are reducing the downtime right sir yes or no agree not agree yes yes that yes. concept is nothing but rt was sir okay you are reducing the downtime sir basically how by configuring log shipping by configuring mirroring by configure clusters by configure always on availability group you were reducing the downtime sir you were reducing the downtime by configuring any one of the high availability so that is majorly for rto high availability came from the concept called rto recovery time objective to reduce the downtime to bring your services to bring your database as soon as possible if something will happen something goes wrong agree not agree sir sir in the simple lay terms i am explaining okay i am not going for in depth i will go in depth in the coming session sir <coughs> okay not okay okay sir Okay. okay now what is rpo sir recovery point objective rpo recovery point objective sir so what is recovery point point objective means basically uh, your 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 client will tell us okay uh, 30 minutes data loss i can accept your client uh, when, whenever they are making agreement sir okay so 30 minutes data loss i can agree 30 minutes data loss i can agree sir don't 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 consider okay for banking 30 minutes data loss no sir if you if you go for for banking 30 minutes data loss maybe in that database your data is also available sir okay don't don't tell such kind of decisions okay for for your simple understanding i am telling so for example your your client is telling that okay 30 minutes data loss i can agree sir 30 minutes data loss means something suddenly something happen okay okay i can affordable for 30 minutes data loss data loss okay so how you are going to make sure that you can you cannot reach 30 minutes data loss sir means backups sir what i am going to do so for example full sir forget about full backup and differential backup as i already told you full backup you can perform at weekly basis differential backup you can perform at daily basis sir your your client is telling 30 minutes data loss he can agree sir up to 30 minutes data loss he can agree can i configure transaction log backup for 30 minutes every 30 minutes configure yes yes sir yes yes no sir so you can agree for data loss for 30 minutes sir every 30 minutes you are taking backups it will be less than 30 minutes only right if something goes wrong agree 
not agree yes 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 so yes so backups are co going to configure based on your rpo based on your rpo sir how that's what uh, one concept i told you okay your backup strategy how you were deciding that backup strategy sir i need to sir forget about full backup and differential backup again i am telling don't how you are configuring the transition log backup someone is configure every 15 minutes someone is configuring 30 minutes someone is configuring one hour someone will configure for two hours four hours five hours based on based on their their rp version technically if you start understanding okay this is the main underlying logic how they are going to configure the backups so based on the rpo how much data loss your client is accepting your client is accepting for 30 minutes go and configure every 30 minutes transition log backup your client is uh, accepting for every 15 minutes go and configure 15 minutes transition log backup your client never uh, agree for data loss sir without data loss then you should configure backups for every one minute transition log backups every one minute sir i am not guarantee that we are not guarantee tell that no data loss you can't configure every second transition log backup right yes or no yeah, not okay, yes, sir. Not okay so how you are going to configure backups means based on your rpo so that is the main purpose that is the main main thing sir i mentioned here a recovery point objective recovery time objective are the two of the most important parameters of a disaster recovery or data protection plan these objectives which can guide enterprises to choose uh, an optional data backup plan also it's it's a for high availability and disaster recovery and it's also for backups sir. backup so they will make one agreement sir before we, we we got a new project to ibm or infosys or so they will make all the sls agreements everything they will make an agreement sir within the agreement they will mention this much data loss i can agree this much downtime they can agree if you beyond that one you should pay penalties sir. one time even my company pay penalty to the client uh, seriously sir almost two and a half days uh, entire uh, our our sql sharepoint servers went down one mistake sir and even even no one is able to identify it no one sir again no one is able to identify sir two and a half days after two and a half days we identified so once once every day once i went we enter into the shift we need to join into the call two and a half days we are continuously on call sql services are running databases are healthy but users are not able to connect because <coughs> we are using a tool sir a separate tool for database audits like uh, security audits sir <coughs> technically that name we are calling as a db product what the db product people done right so we are having oracle sql postgresql mongodb amazon aurora different different databases sir every database we are having different different policies unfortunately this this db product team applied oracle policies on those servers on sql servers they applied oracle policies sir security policies on our sql servers unfortunately and nowhere it is writing sir when we go for sql error logs when we go for event viewer logs nowhere it is writing why application is not able to connect and and we are maintaining almost 200 to 300 uh, <coughs> sql servers for sharepoint application how we can know sir which which uh, and they don't know actually that sharepoint team is a bullshit team they don't know which instance it is pointing whenever we enter into the shift morning five to six servers they will search evening five to six servers different servers 
night five to six server different servers after two days on one server on event viewer it written that the connection on exceeded uh, then we pick that point then we started uh, digging not our team sir client side dbs because they are familiar with the db, DB product sir we are new to the db product too so definitely sir okay you may also get such kind of scenarios worst scenarios sometimes sir overall in my my uh, career six four years career with one project so we worked for continuously almost uh, 60 hours uh, only eight hours only i will work after that again one of uh, my colleague will join the call continuously the bridge is open for almost two and a half days to resolve one issue okay okay such kind of scenarios definitely you will get it sir so so when we go for rpo sir recovery point objective describe a point in time that data can be restored from up to till what time you can recover the data if something goes wrong okay that will decided by the rpo to protect rpo we are going to take the backups hourly basis daily basis weekly basis monthly basis whatever basis you can go and take the backup sir to fulfill rpo to fulfill rpo you are going to perform the backups till what time you can recover the data if something goes wrong that is deciding by the rpo sir best is backups then rpo sir rpo sir these points i will discuss in the coming sessions in in uh, always on latency session sir forget about these three points it's very difficult to understand new the people who are starting career okay so in the late terms i'm explaining sir rto how much time you will take to bring your secondary to online secondary to primary sir that is nothing but rto recovery time object how much time you are going to take to bring your database to bring your services to bring your server to online okay to online so that application can connect okay not okay sir so this is nothing but high availability and disaster recovery rto for high availability and disaster recovery rpo for backups sir clear not clear yes sir yes sir got it um subhu yeah one question is there <coughs> you mean rpo means uh, it uh, it likes a database level or it's a server level no, whatever the database only sir most database only sir Okay, okay sir within that server there are databases only right within that instance also there are databases only okay, okay. how much how much uh, you can recover sir if something goes wrong if something goes wrong how much you can recover okay suddenly how much data you can recover if something goes wrong that is completely deciding by rpo sir even server also they are going to take the snapshots sir vm snapshots vm yeah. snapshot they are taking disk level snapshot they are taking and we are taking backups and restores backups sir because everything is a critical right sir yes or no yes, yes very sir. very sensitive data we are dealing okay, okay sir so these three points only the people who are already experienced sir uh, the, the people who are starting career no pro no problems at these three points again i am going to discuss in the always on availability group latency okay very interesting i will share that uh, entire article to you for reference as well sir okay now sir 
so uh, the time taken to make the secondary replica as a primary replica sir the time taken okay the time taken to make secondary replica as a primary that is that is sir simply i am conferring log shipping i am conferring mirroring i am conferring uh, always on availability group hey my job is done i am good at rto no sir seriously how much time it is taking to bring your secondary to primary that is also you should calculate sir that is very important you configured okay i can agree sir but whenever you are doing failover it is taking longer time beyond your ex expectation sir then no 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 something is going wrong so you need to work sir okay so the time taken to make secondary as a primary as well that is very important the time taken to fail over between the nodes if you configure clusters if you configure clusters okay clusters sir windows failover cluster if something happen to one node automatically another node will take responsibility sir node means servers sir node means server sir if something happened to one server another server need to take the responsibility right how much time it is taking to take the responsibility that is also very important <coughs> that is also very important sir one more point when you failover is activated from one of the secondary databases all other secondaries are automatically linked to the new primary means what do you mean that means sir when you go for uh, always on this is your primary and this is all your secondary sir this is all your secondaries assume this is your primary this is all secondary sir okay you know your primary is running fine everything suddenly something happened and your primary is becoming secondary and your secondary is becoming primary sir primary and remaining this three along with this one how soon it will sync to this primary that is also very important sir getting my point just if you configure log shipping or mirroring or always on hey my my job is done no sir how how much time it is taking to to sync all other secondaries to this primary is also very very important getting sir this is somewhat advanced level no worries the people who are starting your career again these three points i will discuss in the high availability sir okay for for just knowledge purpose the people who are already working this is also rpo rto only this lay terms is no one no sir no one is understanding simple okay i am conferring high availability hey, my job is done no sir how much time it is taking to bring this secondary to primary secondary as a primary that is also very important how much time it is taking to fail over from this server to this server that is also very important how much time other databases are taking to sync with this new primary that is also very important agree not agree sir yes no yes all this you should consider sir simply i am not telling high availability <coughs> okay high availability means log shipping or mirroring or or, or or always on our clusters okay this also very very important very very important sir so that is the main reason i mentioned three points okay in the advanced level i mentioned two more additional points i hope five points i mentioned sir uh, sir but uh, yeah but, uh, as discussed initially for rpo we have the backups based on that we can decide the time whether they want uh, they are fine with whether initial discussion like they are fine with the half an hour data loss or one hour data loss uh, with the help of we can do it but coming to this uh, uh, failover and fail back uh, that some sometimes it will come back soon as soon as possible but sometimes there there may be delay but that uh, that that timing i mean uh, once once we do fail over how much time it will come back the primary to secondary that time uh, we can't uh, can, can, i mean how much time we can't analyze right? uh, will there be any way to analyze how much time 
because some, sometimes we are aware of it so, sometimes uh, it won't come online so mm, yeah that's what sir that's what you need so, to pay penalty more than the more than the expected data loss sir no client will tell you that no whenever you got opportunity okay sir yeah. if your originally your client is accepting for one hour downtime so your yeah. project team people will tell 30 minutes downtime okay your project people will tell 30 minutes downtime actual the agreement is for one hour but you people are telling 30 minutes downtime that is what they will they will make a note sir okay no one will tell okay they are agree with 30 minutes down time okay 30 minutes okay no problem after 30 minutes you no need to worry your client will pay to the uh, your 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 company will pay penalty to the client or they need to tell proper justification why it is taking more than 30 minutes why it has been taken more than 30 minutes to bring the server to online to bring database to online to bring service to online to bring server to online why you need to justify sir if you are not justifying they will pay penalty not you your 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 ibm your tcs your infosys will pay penalty to the client obviously and they will fire like anything on you we are not guarantee uh, sir we no one guarantee that this this will take this much time no one guarantee sir there is no yeah. guarantee anywhere because these are servers these are softwares we can't do we can't predict that what will happen to the software what will happen to the drive what will happen to the server something no one knows sir yes sir in, in some cases uh, uh, they, they will engage vendors like microsoft sometimes it is sometimes it is not in our hands uh, so at that time if we engage microsoft engineers uh, so there might be some deal, i mean they will take some time to uh, resolve the issue right, if you have the dis justification they can definitely they can agree sir okay 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 sir, you, you given one car to the service okay and your car is too worst and they are telling okay it is taking one day and you you again for next you went to, uh, to the service center next day and they are telling okay sir uh, we are extremely apologies due to this reason it is getting delay maybe it may take two to three hours can you place with bear with us time or you can go and come after two to three hours will you agree or you will fight with them if there is a proper justification yes sir definitely we, everyone will agree if you don't have proper justification definitely they will pay the penalty Oh, okay sir okay okay yeah got it sir yeah okay, okay. depends on the scenario okay sir. clear not clear clear to do okay sir the first concept we are going to discuss is log shipping just relax for five minutes or just five minutes stay back in the call okay relax for five minutes we are going to start the log shipping sir okay the first technique we are going to start just relax for five minutes sir. okay sir. okay sir.
the front back right yes. i guess so yes sir okay let me see okay now sir we are going to start uh, one of the first technique okay microsoft came up came up okay that is nothing but log shipping okay so it is not a high availability sir it is a best dr technique first point i am telling okay everyone will tell us this is the high availability and disaster there is a term called high availability and disaster recovery we have a couple of features like log shipping mirroring clusters and always on so log shipping will source for best dr technique it is not a best high availability technique make notes sir okay so first point itself i am telling it is not a best high availability because it won't support automatic failover make a note sir make a note it won't support automatic failover it is not a best high availability technique these two points you need to make a note sir is a basic level sir log shipping is a basic level of sql server high availability and disaster recovery technology that is part of sql sir log shipping is a basic level sir it's a basic level of high availability and disaster recovery disaster recovery sir what is sir log shipping log shipping you can understand easily sir it is shipping the transaction log sir it is shipping you sir you know about how to take the transaction log backup right yes no yes sir yes sir Yes. You know about how to take the transaction log backup. You know how to restore the transaction log backup, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. So yes. instead of instead of manual, sir, you are making automation. So what it is what what exactly it is taking, sir? It is shipping the transaction log backups. It will take automatically backup. It will copy. It will restore. You no need to do anything, sir. so whenever you configure log shipping automatically it will take the ship the transaction log backups from one server to n number of other servers in a simple lay term sir uh, you don't want go through this all this uh, definitions what is log shipping sir shipping the transaction log backups from primary server primary database to n number of secondary servers n number of secondary databases that's it sir so because log shipping will supports n number of secondaries you can keep n number of databases sir it is a db level database level sir log shipping is a database level mirroring is a database level clustering is a instance level always on is a instance level and db level so that we are going to discuss later sir mostly we are going to focus on mirroring and log shipping sir mirroring and log shipping uh, so log shipping and mirroring both are database level means if you have in one instance if you have under databases you want to configure log shipping for all databases you need to configure 100 log shipping sir every database you need to configure log shipping every database you need to configure log shipping because it is a database level redundancy database level redundancy sir here okay every database you need to configure log shipping so when you configure log shipping what exactly it is doing sir shipping the transaction log backups from primary to n number of secondaries shipping sir it is actually shipping so instead of manually it is going to ship automatically from primary to secondary here you should call it as a primary here you should call it as a secondary here you should call it as a primary here you should call it as a secondaries in log shipping you can configure n number of secondaries sir very simple sir log shipping don't make more complex if someone is asking what is the log shipping log shipping is the one of the basic high availability and disaster recovery okay basic high availability and disaster recovery which is shipping the transaction log backups from primary to n number of secondaries that's it sir 
that's it actually log shipping apart from nothing else clear not clear yes sir clear so what is log shipping sir it will take the log backup it will copy it will restore it will take the log backup copy restore take the log backup copy restore take the log backup copy restore so log shipping will automatically take the backups automatically copy automatically restore sir <coughs> clear not clear sir Clear everyone me. the people clear. who are already having a little bit experience forget about sir yeah rest others. i'm asking rest others yeah clear what log shipping is, yeah what log shipping is doing taking the backup on primary copying to the secondary and restore eating sir that's it Yeah, here if we add one more point like uh, 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 the database uh, needs to be in uh, full recovery model uh, just for, forget sir forget uh, forget about sir uh, forget about all these things i am not discussing detail just i wanted to let everyone knows what is log shipping because oh, everyone is treating this as a very complex sir Sir, log shipping. What is log shipping, sir? Shipping the transaction log backups from primary to secondary. Is there any difficulty, sir, to remember two line sentence? Yes? No? No. No, sir. That's it, sir shipping the transaction log backups from primary to n number of secondary second sir just hold on meanwhile you can ask the questions yeah now sir okay so lock sh lock shipping is the basic high availability and disaster recovery microsoft came up uh, in sql server 2005 okay so which is transferring the transition log backups from primary to n number of secondary that's it sir in the lay terms okay now we'll go a little bit deeper sir we'll go uh, what exactly uh, how it is working in different different we, we will discuss today completely end to end theoretical part sir tomorrow we'll go for the practical session okay now sir let me open an image sir, for your better understanding. I just made one image. Okay. Assume, sir, uh, this is your database name, HSBC, sir. HSBC, your database name. And I am taking this as my primary. Sir, you should treat any one database as a primary and rest of the databases are secondary, sir. Okay. So don't configure in one instance. You you require multiple instances. Sir. This database in a separate instance. This database in separate instance. So all databases will be in the separate separate instance. Sir. Okay. We'll we'll discuss sir configuration part. We'll discuss by tomorrow. No problem. Okay, sir. When you configure log shipping, when you configure log shipping, what exactly it is happening, sir? In the backend, it is creating four jobs. In the back end, it is creating four jobs, sir. What are the four jobs? Backup job, alert job, copy job, restore job, alert job, sir. Sir, in the primary, 
it is going to create the backup job alert job in the secondary it is going to create the copy job restore job alert jobs so total how many jobs are creating sir four jobs will be created backup job copy job restore job alert job alert job will be available in primary alert job is also available in secondary sir in secondary as well so when you when you just try to configure log shipping okay when you configure log shipping what exactly is happening sir it is trying to create four jobs what are the four jobs backup job copy job restore job what is the purpose of backup job sir sir you know how to take the transition log backup right same thing it is doing sir backup job is to connect to the database and take the transition log backup and keep it in the folder apart from nothing else sir it is doing so it is taking the backup what backups are transition log backup and it is placing in the network folder whatever folders are whatever you are keeping folder just whenever backup job triggers it will take the transition log backup and it will keep in this folder whatever folder you are specifying sir okay not okay sir okay so sir whenever whenever you configure log shipping what is happening sir so it will, it will create, create four backup. jobs yeah. what are the four jobs backup job copy job restore job alert job that's it sir okay. that's it what is the purpose of backup job backup job sir backup job will be responsible for to taking the transaction log backups and place it in the shared folder or whatever it may be. whatever sir whatever it may be very good that's it sir అంతక మించి ఇంక ఏమీ చేయదండి మీరు లాక్ షిప్పింగ్ కాన్ఫిగర్ చేస్తే మీకు నాలుగు ఫోర్ జాబ్స్ క్రియేట్ అవుతాయండి ఏం జాబ్స్ అండి బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ కాపీ జాబ్ రీస్టోర్ జాబ్ అలర్ట్ జాబ్ బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ అలర్ట్ జాబ్ వచ్చి ప్రైమరీలో క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది కాపీ జాబ్ రీస్టోర్ జాబ్ అలర్ట్ జాబ్ సెకండరీలో క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది సార్ ఈ బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ ఏం చేస్తుందంటే ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ లాక్ బ్యాకప్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ కీప్ ఇన్ ద ఫోల్డర్ మీరు ఏ ఫోల్డర్ అయితే స్పెసిఫై చేస్తారో ఆ ఫోల్డర్ లో బ్లాక్ బ్యాకప్ తీసుకుంటుంది సార్ దట్స్ ఇట్ now what is the purpose of copy job sir copy job will connect to this folder and copy the transaction log backup to the secondary server that is the main purpose of copy job sir what is the copy job copy job will connect to the primary folder where the backups are performing it will copy to the secondary folder automatically you should not copy sir you no need to worry about copy so copy job will take the responsibility to copy the backup file from one server to another server okay not okay sir okay all right people what is happening sir copy job copy job will copy the transaction log backup which is taken by the backup job to the secondary server yes clear not clear yes sir yes. understood Yes. Then what is the resource what is the resource job sir resource job will restore the transaction log backups in a sequence order that's it sir done you no need to go on search in google like what is log shipping what is log shipping are yaar log shipping is simple sir log shipping will ship the transaction log backups from one primary to n number of secondaries how log shipping is working sir log shipping is working based on the jobs what job sir backup job copy job restore job alert job main backup job copy job restore job only sir forget about alert job so backup job will take the transition log backups and keep in the folder copy job will copy the backup which is taken by the backup job and copy to the secondary restore job will restore all the transition log backup in the sequence that's it sir very simple clear not clear sir all right people yeah it's clear sir yes the people who are not at open their mouth everyone understand sir only they will ask two questions sir what yes, is log shipping how log shipping is working i already answered you so log shipping is a is a basic high availability and disaster but it is not a high availability sir it is a best dr technique why because it won't supports automatic failover 
ఇది ఆటోమేటిక్ ఫెయిల్ అవర్ ని సపోర్ట్ చేయదు అంటే ప్రైమరీ డౌన్ అవుతే సెకండరీ అప్ అవ్వదు ఆటోమేటిక్ గా మీరు మాన్యువల్ గా అప్ చేయాలి సార్ ఓకే మీరు మాన్యువల్ గా అప్ చేయాలి అది నేను టుమారో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు షో సేమ్ థింగ్ ఓకే సో హౌ లాక్ షిప్పింగ్ ఈస్ వర్కింగ్ సార్ లాక్ షిప్పింగ్ ఈస్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ ద జాబ్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద జాబ్స్ బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ కాపీ జాబ్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ సో బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ వేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ క్రియేటింగ్ బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ ఎక్కడ క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది సార్ ఇన్ ప్రైమరీ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ కాపీ జాబ్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ అండ్ సెకండరీ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ సార్ బ్యాకప్ జాబ్ విల్ టేక్ ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ లాక్ బ్యాకప్ కాపీ జాబ్ విల్ కాపీ ఇట్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ విల్ రీస్టోర్ ఇట్ దట్స్ ఇట్ సార్ దీన్ని అర్థం చేసుకోవడానికి అరే ఎన్ని డేస్ పడుతుంది అంటే సార్ మీకు ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ షూర్ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ డిఫికల్టీ దిస్ ఈవెన్ వన్ స్టూడెంట్ ఈస్ సిట్టింగ్ హీ 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 ఆల్రెడీ డన్ ద జాబ్ ఫర్ ఫోర్ టు ఫైవ్ మంత్స్ అగైన్ హీ లాస్ ద జాబ్ ఇఫ్ ఐఎమ్ ఆస్కింగ్ సేమ్ క్వశ్చన్ అగైన్ ఈస్ ఐ ఈస్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు రిమెంబర్ దిస్ త్రీ వర్డ్స్ సార్ subbu subbu one doubt subbu suppose for yes, example i am having multiple uh, secondary servers okay uh, let's assume four secondary servers okay at uh, so uh, as per this mechanism it will create the copy job and the restore job for suppose for example i have four secondary instances for each instance it will create copy and restore job yes exactly sir every okay. instance is independent sir ఓకే ఓకే ఎవ్రీ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఇస్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఎవ్రీ డేటాబేస్ ఇస్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఓకే ఓకే సో గుడ్ ఓకే క్లియర్ ఓకే ఓకే ఇఫ్ దట్ ఇస్ ద మెయిన్ రీజన్ సర్ ఐ జస్ట్ డ్రాన్ దిస్ వన్ ఇఫ్ యు హావ్ వన్ మోర్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఇఫ్ యు హావ్ వన్ మోర్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ హియర్ ఆల్సో కాపీ జాబ్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ హియర్ ఆల్సో కాపీ జాబ్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ సో దిస్ కాపీ జాబ్ విల్ టేక్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ దిస్ కాపీ జాబ్ విల్ టేక్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ దిస్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ విల్ టేక్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ దిస్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ విల్ టేక్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ దిస్ రీసోర్ట్ జాబ్ విల్ టేక్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ టు రీసోర్ lock shipping one major advantage sir what what is the major advantage you can keep n number of secondaries one to many okay. one to many sir yes one okay. primary n number of secondaries primary means where lock shipping will start sir secondary means where lock shipping ends that's it sir that's it primary secondary clear not clear so subu uh, yes uh, yes if it is a n number of secondaries and whenever it will uh, like uh, back up the uh, it will take the copy from a uh, primary so yes, uh, at the same time uh, it can be work or on secondary or it will be impact some performance issues no, nothing sir every instance is a different right sir it is just copying the file it is not touching sql server right sir backup is already taken sir backup is already taken yeah. so whenever copies of triggers it will copy this backup file sir it is not touching sql so there won't impact in sql sir nothing no okay so at the same time i mean so we said the same time no, no problem second. sir no problem no problem nothing okay. nothing it's a just file sir it's a just file it is trying to copy okay sometimes sir what will happen uh, even uh, yesterday i hope yesterday or day before yesterday uh, sai has faced one issue i hope you are also in the call i may or may not uh, the log file size is more than 1.5 gp sir 1.5 gp the log file log backup size is and it is taking longer time to copy from primary to secondary and he told me maybe sir sometimes this copy job will also go to hung state sir we are not guarantee right sir okay sir what the, what is the purpose of copy job copy job it is to copy it is to connect to this folder and copy this transaction log backup to the secondary server sir that's it correct maybe the job went into hung state or or maybe due to network issue the copying is taking longer time the copy is taking longer time sir sometimes that is what troubleshooting sir we will discuss all this in troubleshooting okay okay yeah okay so i am not telling uh, it will impact the sql sir it, it never impact the sql because you are not touching anything on primary sir so data is moving from this folder correct backup is already done sir so copy job and copy job will copy 
connect to this folder and copy the transaction log backup and keep it in the secondary instance sir. Narsima, Vinay, Sunil, Pira, Vandana, clear, not clear, Munendra, from clear, sir. Very simple, sir. Don't make complex, okay. Uh, very very simple just to uh, everyone prepare only four lines four lines sir. what is log shipping okay log shipping is the one of the basic high availability and disaster recovery okay which is the shipping which is shipping the transition log backups from primary to n number of secondary that's it sir how log shipping is working log shipping is working based on the jobs backup job copy job restore job backup job will be created on primary instance copy job restore job will be created on secondary instance Backup job used to take the transition log backup. Copy job used to copy the transition log backup. Restore job used to restore the transition log backup. That's it, sir. You can add some flavors. And I mean, could the flavor sad chases interview or explain to you, sir. This is the main concept, actually. Okay. Okay, sir. I hope in the kind of simple guy in game under the sun. This is very simple lay terms. What is log shipping? How log shipping is working? Clear, not clear, sir. No, sir. Sir, uh, you know about what are the prerequisites to install the SQL server? Agree, not agree. We discussed lot many prerequisites, right, sir? Yes, sir. to install the SQL server like same sir for log shipping for mirroring for cluster for replication for always on there are prerequisites sir. Prerequisites means you need to follow certain things to make your configuration easier. And then you could follow all and Mirror log shipping configure challenge, mirroring configure challenge, cluster configure challenge, always on configure challenge, replication configure challenge. You should follow some some uh, uh, pre pre uh, requisites sir, to configure log shipping or mirroring or clusters or always on or replication. What are the prerequisites, sir? Sir, minimum two instance, minimum sir, one primary, one secondary, minimum two instance. Minimum two databases, sir. Agree, not agree. Make rondo database will kawali, rondo instance will kawali, sir. Each instance lo okoka database ni create chess kota name. Agree, not agree. Sir, you agree. can keep n number of secondaries, sir. You can keep n number of secondaries, but to configure log shipping, at least minimum, sir, two instance, two databases. Okay, not okay, sir. First point. First point. What is first point, sir? Sir, now no more we are using SQL Server 2005, 2008, 2008, 2012. Okay, so you can add you your SQL need to be uh, 2005. Sir, 2005 itself is not there. Then no need to worry, sir. No need to tell that one, sir. Okay, so directly you can go for minimum. We require two instances. Two databases okay two instance two databases sir that is the first point second point is okay your recovery model should be full or bulk logger sir your recovery model your your database recovery model will be should be full or bulk log recovery model that is also very very important sir. very very important okay this is the second point sir this is very important, sir. Your database recovery model should be full or bulk logged. Next, third point, sir. Sir, your secondary database should be either restoring mode or standby mode. Sir, your secondary database should be in the restoring mode or in the standby mode. It should not be in online. 
ఓన్లీ ప్రైమరీ విల్ బి ఆన్లైన్ సార్ సార్ ఓన్లీ ప్రైమరీ విల్ బి ఆన్లైన్ యువర్ సెకండరీ ఆల్వేస్ ఇన్ ద రీస్టోరింగ్ మోడ్ ఆర్ స్టాండ్ బై మోడ్ ఓకే నాట్ ఓకే సార్ థర్డ్ పాయింట్ థర్డ్ పాయింట్ యువర్ సెకండరీ విల్ బి ఇన్ ద స్టాండ్ బై మోడ్ ఆర్ రీస్టోరింగ్ మోడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ద థర్డ్ పాయింట్ సార్ నెక్స్ట్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద ఫోర్త్ పాయింట్ సార్ you need to create two folders sir one is the backup folder one is the copy folder two folders you require two folders sir is a mandatory sir not a mandatory you can create one folder as well you can create one folder but that will be network folder sir if you are creating two folders if you are creating one folder okay but definitely make a note that folder should be network folder okay you should create a network folder sir I, tomorrow i will show you how to create a network folder no worries sir okay you require two folders mean i am not telling minimum sir you require one folder as well no problem but you you, can, you basically i am telling sir you require two folders one folder will be network folder one folder will be normal folders okay one for copy folder one for backup folder if you have multiple instance multiple copy folders or one only one backup folder multiple copy folders sir multiple copy folder agree not agree yes no sir under should sir yeah okay you require two folders sir one is backup folder one is copy folder if you have multiple instance you 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 should create multiple copy folders sir that make a note sir you were you were uh, one more thing one one more additional sir okay so whatever the service account you are running on the secondary whatever the service account you are running on the secondary that service account you need to grant the permission to the backup folder otherwise you cannot access sir so you need to grant the permission to the service account only for the backup folder all the secondary service account should grant the permission on the backup folder tomorrow i will show you that one as well sir okay create two folders and the grant the permission to the backup folder to the secondary service accounts that is the fourth point sir that is the fourth point first point what is the first point sir two instances two databases minimum second point your recovery model should be bulk and full and bulk log third point secondary always in the restoring mode or standby mode restoring mode or standby mode fourth point create a backup folder create a backup folder copy folder and grant the permission to the backup folder grant the permission to the backup folder what is the fifth point sir sir most of the time most of the time you should maintain same hardware same software sir means your operating system should be equal your your ram your your cpu your memory your disks should be same sir your database name should be same your sql instance version edition should be same again you should maintain the same hardware same software sir okay not okay sir that is the fifth point sir maintain the same sir same collation same language same database name same version same edition same hardware same software maintain the same sir okay 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 not okay sir okay. that's it sir apart from But nothing else uh, sorry, the second can be higher version no problem subbu that is mandatory subbu this is the same edition same version sorry same edition may best practice sir best practice okay. i mean to say best practice but your secondary can be highest version as well assume your sql your primary is running with sql server 2016 your secondary can be 2019 sir 19 yes so secondary should be degraded in the sense it cannot work right 
no degrade is not possible sir only upgrade is possible why means okay. i will explain you in the in the in the in the different scenario sir okay sir okay, as sir. of now as of now no need to worry about this different sir i will explain you in the upgradation and migration okay then you can understand easily as of now try to make a note same version same edition same collation okay and uh, same hardware same softwares same same disk capacities everything should be same sir identical that is the best practice sir i am not guarantee you should maintain the same but if you are following the best practice that is well and good sir because today it is secondary tomorrow it can be primary right yes or no sir today it is a secondary right. tomorrow it can be become primary right if something happened to this that is the reason sir maintain the same so subbu uh, yes yeah. you you said uh, like primary no, no, is done nothing sir my, my turn is done sir you can ask a number of questions now okay. uh, you said primary will be down those so secondary become primary so that time yes. it will be de uh, degrade right primary or it will be again we need to configure no sir forget about 2019 i told you right forget about 2019 it is also 2016 sir you can do whatever you want you can move yeah. your database to here again once it is back again you can move here so that is what technically we are calling as a uh, fail over fail back fail over fail back fail over sir fail back Okay, okay. Because most of the time, sir, application team will tell that okay, this server should be always in primary. If something happened, okay, no problem, failover, sir. Once it is back again, you should do the fail back. Okay, okay. Not PDF file and we are getting the blue archive. No, that we'll discuss tomorrow. That we'll discuss tomorrow, sir. Today, what are the prerequisites? How log shipping is working? What is log shipping? You have any questions on these three? Ask me, sir. Rest everything tomorrow we'll discuss. Ah, uh, sir. Regarding the two te te terminologies, just. Uh, yes, high availability and a disaster like uh, i'm trying to because little confusion is there means high availability means usually uh, whenever we will do in case if something uh, happened to the primary th okay, then we wait, will sir, make... wait 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 sir, wait hold on sir i will explain you sir then you can understand high availability means nothing but within the same data center within the same data center you can keep a number of copies no problem sir that will come into the high availability dr means different data center that's it sir that's it the simple lay terms sir i am telling high availability means within the same data center you can maintain n number of copies if something happened to this it will take responsibility within the same data center if both will down so this need to be taken care because this is outside data center different data center that is a dr sir Okay. Okay. Will will there be any in in between this this thing, whether manual and automatic will come into picture or not required, sir? Just definitely, sir. Definitely, it. definitely, sir. In here also it will come manual sometimes. Okay. How many are you are conferring? How many you are conferring? So that will different case, sir. But what is lay terms in the lay terms? What is high availability means within the data center? Which will supports automatic failover. That is the high availability. Okay, ER means okay. different data center, which mostly manual failovers. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, sir, yeah. Because a lot of confusion is there in between the terminologies. Uh, the, oh, I got it. I got it. Sir. Yeah. Any questions on this uh, thing? What is log shipping? Mm -hmm. How log shipping is working? What are the prerequisites? Yes, sir. Someone is asking. High yeah, availability means to make the uh, 
available for that particular application for the users as a, if i am i am wrong let me know sorry sir can you please repeat your voice is breaking uh, to make the application availability for the users yes sir that's what right our agenda every uh, time application need to run otherwise otherwise gone right sir uh -huh. Uh, okay. Subhu, can you have same service accounts in both instances? In different. No, sir. No, you can maintain, sir. You can maintain the same. You can maintain yeah. some projects will maintain the same service account, sir. Some yeah, projects will mandatory. maintain the different yeah. service account. Yeah, it, no, it no, no, sir. Mandatory. Not a mandatory. Yeah, that is no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. That is up to your views. Yeah, if it different service accounts also, it will be work, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can ask us, sir. Let's, let's clarify your doubts. No, no one having any questions. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So it is clear. What I mean. okay. No, sir. Okay, so now we are going to discuss about uh, uh, restore scenarios, sir. Restore scenarios. So this is what my backup schedule, sir. Uh, every uh, day 9 a.m. We are going to take the full backup. Every two hours we are going to take the transition log backups. 
every three hours we are going to take the differential backup sir okay differential backup sir on thursday on thursday at 12 at 2 30 pm okay this is the database name sir uh, ec2 ec2 is my database name at 2 30 pm my database is crashed sir my database is crashed what what you will do sir one by one sir tell your name and tell the answer next time you should not sir you should be idle other other people need to tell the answer okay so this is my database and this is what my backup schedule sir this is what backup schedule 2 30 pm my database got corrupted sir what you will do take the latest to full backup who is who is that sir name your name uh, is mohan sir uh, yeah mohan yes take the latest to full backup okay which was generated on thursday okay okay with uh, uh with no recovery option okay yes sir can i continue yeah krishna yeah continue sir continue how to reach how you will recover this database easy to database my database is corrupted to the tpm yeah krishna yeah take uh, yeah. the full backup of thursday okay and a transaction backup uh, till point of time of 2 30. okay wrong any other yes sir uh take full backup of the thursday and take one differential backup for the wait wait so one by one one by one sorry yeah yeah this is narayana take full yeah. backup of thursday okay nine thursday 9 a.m and take uh with no recovery and uh, take one differential backup of the 12 p.m okay with, with no recovery and also uh, take one transaction log backup after the differential backup we can go with the transaction log backup with recovery for 1 p.m up to because it's 2 30 p.m right okay wrong answer any other 2 p up to 2, 2 p.m up to 2 p.m up to 2 yeah. p.m okay again wrong answer next any other no they are expecting sir because you people are experienced people i am for example i am the interviewer i can expect one keyword if you miss that keyword even you are working you are a genuine also we will treat, treat as a okay you are lateral Up one to keyword two, everyone pm we can take the uh, we can restore the backup right transaction lag backup okay hmm. any other with stop option okay wrong sir <laughs> uh, full backup uh, sir, we can re uh, first we can re uh, first we can restart full backup on thursday 9 a.m uh, okay. and then we can re uh, and then we can restore the latest differential backup at 12 p.m okay and then and then followed by uh, we have two uh, i mean two different two log backups at 1 p.m and then 2 p.m one after another Okay. one after another uh, uh, after that uh, uh, based on that particular specific time we can take the log backup with a stop at option no why you are using stop at option sir your database because is crashed actually your database is crashed yeah, you don't have any backup right after 2 pm there is no backup is there how why you why you are getting stop at class Okay, crash. Okay. Uh, crash. After differential backups, we can restore up to 2 pm transaction backups one by one. Okay, again, wrong answer. Exactly. Who is that? Who is that? Raghav. 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 Exactly. That is what I'm expecting, sir. First, everyone forgets, sir. I told you, hey, whenever database is crashed, yeah. perform yeah. tail lock backup. It may or may yeah. not success. Perform tail lock backup. Where is that one, sir? That is what I'm expecting. He got selected. Everyone is rejected. <laughs> okay. Chalo, that is only one mistake, sir. Everyone is right. Almost everyone is right, sir. I am so sorry. That is the only one keyword you missed. Whenever you your database is crashed, perform the tail lock backup first. 
perform the tail lock back up it may or may not success forget about perform the tail lock back up with continue the error even if you got error also let's continue perform the tail lock back up sir that is very important because what about this 30 minutes data up to 2 pm you are having backup i am so safe no problem but what about the 30 minutes sir can you accept 30 minutes data loss so no, perform no, tail no, lock no. backup sir perform tail lock backup that is the first point okay now tell me the answer sir no anyone uh, so raghav you can tell the answer if anything correction after, i will uh, tell lock backup, after the tail lock backup we restore the uh, full backup and differential and then two uh, uh, log backup and one tail log backup with selecting exactly. whether one time same same time exactly exactly same perfect same. answer sir let me let me give the answer sir how i will explain so if if interviewer asking same thing how we will answer means first i will perform the tail log backup okay it may or may not success first i will perform tail log backup so followed once it is done first i will perform thursday full backup with no recovery mm -hmm. to 9 am 9 am full backup with no recovery 12 pm differential backup with no recovery then then after 12 pm all the transition log backup with no recovery except last last to tail log backup or transition log backup with recovery that's it sir a perfect answer right yes sir yes sir yes. okay same scenario 12 pm differential backup is corrupted sir now what you will do same scenario 230 my database got crashed okay but unfortunately someone deleted the 12 pm differential backup sir what you will do before take tail lock once up, once sir. everyone once again yeah you can tell me sir ma'am yes yes ma'am you can tell the answer no no worries okay. even if it is wrong also just tell me no one will no one sir just open your mouth that is what i am expecting others tail yes back up with no recovery sir okay tail tail lock with the uh, no recovery um, what about middle so your answer uh, yeah come on yeah others other anyone sir yes right ma'am almost okay but still we are expecting something others we need to do full backup and okay uh, then we the transaction uh, uh, transaction uh, one by one by one by one by one answer if two people are telling okay. same answer then no one can understand yeah, yeah. That's can I go ahead or uh, yes, anyone, sir? Uh, first, first is a uh, uh, first is uh, we need to do full backup. Then at 10, okay. 11, and uh, uh, one o'clock, we need to use that uh, uh, T log backup. And uh, later at 2 p.m., we need to use that uh, uh, T log. Uh, 2 p.m. also T log after that T log, sir. Okay. So don't after ending, don't be silent, okay? So, what is okay. your answer means? First, I will restore 9 a.m. full backup with no recovery, followed with 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m. transition log backup with no recovery, last tail log backup with recovery. Perfect? Yes, Perfect, sir. sir. Yes. Perfect, sir. Yes. Okay. Sir, unfortunately, 11 a.m. transition log backup also deleted then. Then same way, full backup and transaction of backup and remaining transaction of backup and tail lock. Who is telling sir that answer? Swami. No, Swami. How you can resource sir? LSN will mismatch, right? Yes, sir, 11, 11 a.m. transaction log backup is deleted or yes, it is correct. crashed. It is corrupted. Mm -hmm. So you can recover up to 10 a.m. only. Yes, after yes, 10 a.m almost one two three four four and a half hours there will be data loss agree not agree yes, yes. sir up to 10 a.m only we can restore 
up to 10 a.m. Sir, so your answer should be sir after 10 a.m. We cannot recover because LSN will mismatch So we only we can recover 9 a.m. Full backup 10 a.m. Transition log backup and almost four and a half hours. There will be data loss Yes, sir. Okay, not okay Okay, sir so, sir, how okay, can I, sir. So, how can I uh, uh, retry the data for this situation? Nothing, sir. What you can do? <laughs> <laughs> what, what you can do, what I can do, sir? Nothing. You can, sir, anyone directly, sir. It's, it's, it's mean directly. Assume take your mobile, sir. Take your mobile. You, 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 uh, sir, I can give you one recent example. Uh, we we all went all students went into the lay and Ladakh, right? We have taken a uh, rental uh, uh, DSLR camera uh, One of our student we once we back one one of our student what he done He copied all the photos videos, whatever we taken in this uh, memory card to the laptop And he erased everything in from the uh, uh, SD card sir, but unfortunately he not copied into the laptop actually everything gone right yes or no you already deleted sir what i can do what you can do nothing we lost all the photos all the videos really it's, it's a real scenario sir. like same sir if now 11 a, 11 a.m someone deleted okay something got corrupted what you can do what i can do sir nothing nothing then client will score like anything definitely Definitely, sir. Yeah. You will get fight with your friend, right? They are what you done. We lost all the photos, all the videos. Correct? Same thing in real world, also, sir. What do you can do? Okay. Same thing. Your interview will confuse you a lot, sir. What you can do? What I can do, sir? What you can do? What he can do? Interviewer can do. Now tell me sir, this 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 backup got corrupted this backup got corrupted your database is already corrupted how you can recover sir Okay, okay. therefore we are using for the high availability and the disaster that, that is this that is that is sir <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got got the reason <laughs> That is the main reason we are fading multiple copies, multiple databases, multiple servers, multiple, sir. If one goes wrong, at least we have some other, right? At least for safe side. Okay, what else we can do, sir? Okay, sir. Thursday full backup also corrupted. What you what you can do, sir? Do nothing, sir. So Thursday full backup. You can go with Wednesday full backup. Nine okay, we'll do full backup. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Next. Wednesday full backup and Wednesday latest differential backup, and then okay. followed by T, T, uh, T log backups. Okay, and that you need to tell the time frame, sir. Don't tell uh, followed by T transition log backup. How yeah, you are yes, telling yeah. to the interviewer? Okay. So nine eight yes, a.m. transition log backup, ten a.m. transition log backup, sir. That's it. Because 11 a.m. transition log backup is corrupted, right, sir? You can recover up to 10 a.m. here also. If these two are not corrupted, you can recover up to here, sir. Okay, sir. For example, let me let me clear, sir. So, for example, EC2 database. Okay, my full backup got corrupted, and your database is crashed at 2:30. Okay, now tell me perfect answer, sir. If who is telling this answer, you are completely understand the resource concept sir. tell me complete flow don't don't tell the followed followed okay tell me complete flow one by one, one by one yeah yeah anyone sir? first we will yeah first we will restore the wednesday full back at 9 a.m okay okay this nine last last so this is nine. Okay, this and uh, uh, seven a.m. differential and eight a.m.
8 am transaction log and again 10 am transaction okay. log and okay uh, 11 am transaction log and 12 pm exponential no 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 for no. sorry sir this sir is a little bit confusion just a minute no good you are almost there sir no need to restore differential backup yes, yes. yeah it will fail sir unless it mismatch yeah, yeah. you need to Until restore one pm yeah. then one pm and two pm and tail log backup will be possible that also will restore that's it sir perfect answer sir if you understand this one you are good at restoration sir everyone everyone if you understand this flow everyone sir very rare case you will get this kind of question sir what will happen if recent full backup is deleted corrupted no worries we'll take one week ago full backup followed with differential backup followed with transition log backup sir okay not okay sir yes, yes sir yes got it got it okay sir if wednesday full backup also corrupted then then first we can first we can uh, we'll take store 9 am backup 9 am full backup okay and then this one uh, the last one in between 4 to 7 am after 9 am is there okay no, no, 7 am differential backup Uh, no, sir, right. You were right, sir. I'll... After transaction that, you need to restore all the transaction log backups. Yes, transaction log backups. That's it. So that is the beauty of the backup, sir. That is how Microsoft made. Okay. But unfortunately, if any one of these transaction log backup got crashed or someone deleted, someone manually taken the transaction log backup in the middle. Then go on, sir. Make a note that is what I told you. Don't take manual transaction log backups in the middle without copy only until unless there is critical situation. Okay, that I will explain you in the uh, log file troubleshooting, sir. Okay, no worries on that part. So that is the beauty of the LSN, sir. Please be careful. This is the restore scenarios. I explained you almost all the scenarios, critical scenarios only. Hope everyone is comfortable with the resource. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. And last one more thing, sir. And uh, sir, when you uh, Okay, no worries, sir. Let, let me stop it here. Okay, tomorrow I will explain that simple two minutes, sir. I wanted to search the script as well. It will take some time. Okay, so that's it, sir. Today, almost we discuss about uh, uh, nothing. What I wanted to tell means, you know about backup history, right? Yes or no? Backup history is maintaining on MSDB, right, sir? MSDB, yes, yes, sir. Yes. MSDB. What backup, are the tables, sir? Backup. backup set? Backup media backup, family. Backup media set. Uh, like same, backup, sir. Backup. Resource also, sir. Restore. Restore history. Restore file group. Restore file. So restore is also maintaining the history. Who perform restore? When you perform restore? On which database perform restore? It is tracking, sir. Please be careful if you done that by mistakenly restore. Definitely you will caught, sir. We can read this table and we can get who performed, when performed, what performed, everything we can get, sir. Please be mute, okay? So you can you can track, sir. Tomorrow I will show uh, show you some scripts, sir, which will help you a lot about the restore, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So please remember at least backup syntax, restore syntax, backup related tables, restore related tables, sir. 
i am not asking everything you need to remember these are the major things sir please remember please remember okay because whenever we are taking interviews they are asking to type in the chat window it's very difficult sir uh, please remember in the mock interviews also tomorrow uh, in this week i am going to ask you definitions okay Okay. Okay. Yep. And and again, I'm telling, sir, uh, one one best thing. The people who are answering everything, okay. Uh, I will give you three videos access. You can't get anywhere, sir. Fantastic videos, access. Uh, only for one day sir you need to read that day okay and again i will revoke that access okay because that videos cannot be spread okay that is very uh, sensitive data very very sensitive data. i will grant you access for three videos the people who are answering okay one is on replication one is on always on one is on performance running okay which are explained by experts experts again i am telling okay okay sir okay i will make a note for everyone who is answering okay only those people remaining people uh, if you are not opening at all mouth then what is the purpose of granting permission to that those videos they spend some time for us now how how much time you are spending is also very important to me sir okay chalo chalo sir see you tomorrow okay okay sir. okay 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 sir. okay bye okay thanks everyone see you tomorrow thank you sir